I am Heat Nation. Hello guys, my name is Trent and over here on this channel, we are going to be covering the Miami Heat. So if y'all want to stay updated to with all the Miami Heat news, this is the perfect channel for y'all. So make sure you drop that sub and turn on post notifications. Also, I do want to say that I did make a Miami Heat Discord server. So if y'all want to go join that, the link will be in the description. Now, today's video, we do have a few segments that we are going to be talking about. Starting off with number one is going to be about head coach Eric Spolstro. Is it time for him to get fired? Two, we're going to be talking about LeBron James reunion, reuniting with the Miami Heat. Three, we're going to be talking about Kyle Lowry getting benched after two terrible performances against the Denver Nuggets and the Utah Jazz. So starting off with Spolstro. Now, we all know he's one of the greatest head coaches of the Miami Heat organization had for a while. You know, he'd been here since 2008. He let us, you know, he brought us a five NBA finals appearance and won two in 2012 and 2013. Now, this season has been an up and down season. And I wasn't putting blame on him at first. It's because we dealt with so many injuries. I mean, we was missing Jimmy Butler for a while. You know, we was missing Tyler Harrow. We was missing key players, key rotation pieces. And when your GM in Pat Riley doesn't really make too much moves this offseason at all, besides bringing back your players, it is going to be tough. But I also do want to say that Pat Riley and Spo, they have a great relationship. And Spo had to allow this to happen too. It just wasn't Pat. It had to be Spo. He's like, I'm confident with this team. I honestly think I can win with this roster. And so far, it hasn't been good at all. I mean, we won by a buzzer beater yesterday, which I'm super excited. We're 19-18 now. Shout out to Tyler Hero to start off the year 1-0. But this year, I feel like the Miami Heat are either going to be 500 or below 500 this whole season. I do believe we are going to be a playoff team. But we're not going to be seven games above 500. We're just going to be one game above 500 or just 500 for the rest of the season. And look at, once again, Jimmy Butler out with a knee injury. And I know he's going to the doctors to see if he can play back-to-backs and stuff like that. But it's very frustrating. And the reason why I want to talk about Spo potentially not being the right head coach right now is because we're constantly blowing leads. Constantly. I feel like we have the most blown leads in the NBA so far because this is outrageous. We either blow the lead in the third quarter. It doesn't even matter what quarter it is. It could be third, second, fourth. It's just too many blown leads. And that goes into coaching at a point. Like, okay, you blow a lead the one, one game or two games, fine. It happens. But when it's constantly happening every single season, not every single season, but so far this year, then it is concern. Now, I love Spa. I honestly think we're going to keep him for a long, long time. But it is a conversation that needed to be talked about. So you guys, I'm in the comment section what y'all think. Now, number two, Kyle Lowry has been a disappointment. Now, he's been playing solid this season. But the last two games against the Denver Nuggets and the Utah Jazz have been absolutely awful. Against Denver, he's the main reason why we was losing that game. Three points, two rebounds, three assists, one for five at the field. And one for four at the three-point line, and his plus-minus was a negative six. That just can't happen. You're a veteran point guard in this league. You're a champion, and you get paid $80 million. You have to play better. You have. It's like at this point, it's a four and five, and you're hoping the Denver Nuggets win the game. That's why I see that sometimes. And then the game before, or the game yesterday, you know, on New Year's, he had five points, three rebounds, and four assists while shooting two for six. His plus-minus was a negative four. So back-to-back -back games where he's just playing awful, and I honestly think it's a time where... He needs to come off the bench. I don't think he should be a starter in this league anymore, especially for the Miami Heat. You guys, let me in the comment section what y'all think. I personally think this team is getting a little bit better. You know, Victor Oladipo is finally getting, you know, his rhythm on the offensive end. If we could just put Gabe Vinson in the starting lineup, personally, I would like that. And Kyle Lowry can run that bench unit. I honestly think this team can improve in many ways because we all know our bench isn't the greatest and Kyle Lowry can be the leader of that unit right now i don't know what he's doing and it's super super frustrating now you guys let me in the comment section once again do you think it's time to bench kyle Lowry? now this one highly doubted but it has been thrown around is because the lakers did play the miami heat and people are saying let's bring back lebron james you know this is coming from the miami heat pages not the legit miami heat page but like fan pages all over twitter all over youtube and stuff like that Obviously, guys, it's not going to happen, but what's getting thrown around is that the Miami Heat could offer three first-round picks and Kyle Lowry for the salary purposes, but the Lakers may ask for Tyler Harrow, and that may be where they just don't do it. But, obviously, 
Miami Heat fans are getting desperate right now. We just want someone over here that can help out Jimmy Butler because it's super unfortunate, man. Jimmy Butler is loved. He's probably the biggest fan favorite on this team, organization, stuff like that. They want to win him a championship, and they just don't really have the right pieces around them. Imagine a LeBron James and Jimmy Butler on the same team. Honestly, that would be fun. And we all know what's happening with LeBron in L.A. They're struggling. He's making crazy comments um, after losing games, talking about, you know, we need better pieces. And honestly, if you add a LeBron to this team, I honestly think we could be the favorites in the Eastern Conference. And it's so frustrating because the East is honestly wide open. The Celtics struggling, Milwaukee Bucks offense is struggling. Like, this is the perfect year to go all in and make moves and win a championship, but it's just not happening. Now, I do want to say that LeBron did sign a two-year $97 million deal. His player option is during that 2024-2025 season. So, very unlikely the Lakers do trade LeBron James. I honestly think he retires with this team, but it is a conversation that needed to be spoken about because all the Miami Heat fans are so big on this right now, which is absolutely insane. But, hey, it is what it is. And so, you guys, let me in the comment sections for all the segments that we talked about today. I do want to give a shout out to Orlando Robinson. I honestly think he should be in the rotation. I honestly think he should be taking Dwayne Dedman's minutes. And that's it. That's all I got to really say. We all know Dwayne Dedman's useless. He, I don't understand why we brought him back. Orlando Robinson in short minutes has already played better than Dwayne Dedman the whole season and has hardly played with the Miami Heat for a long time. So, you know, I love you guys so much. Happy New Year's. Hopefully y'all achieve all your goals and I'm out of here.